Hey, welcome back, guys. We are now in the uh, final matchup of the tournament, and it's between me, Stratege, and Shadow's Guide. This is the first battle done on uh, uh, Battlefield of the Designers, and we decided to skip the precautions, uh, which is pretty cool, so because I then uh, don't have to comment them. Yeah, and I hate commenting precautions. Well, anyway. Going for a standard opener here, starting with Knight to the tactical location and afterwards sending a footman to the middle victor location. And yep, that's pretty much all to now. And if you're a new guy who have just accidentally found the stream and don't even know what Dreamlord is, go to www.dreamlord.com. That's what I mean. Uh, sorry. Got some trouble with spelling stuff. <laughs> and here. He's grabbing the 6 o'clock tactical location and then sending some raw paws in the middle and using some divine interventions. But not many. So it's cool. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sending my dream lots to the lower side because this one is easier to defend against uh, attacking enemies from the bottom left because of the wall in the front and th that victory location has a plus two two hundred percent range increase alpha which is pretty cool when you're trying to defend it with uh, ranged units Kay. they can take down pretty much everything you need to outnumber them badly Oh, he managed to cap the little victory location, but yeah, infantry kills were sold in just a few seconds, and he sends another infantry, and I think he, I uh, must attack him, yeah, and I do. Oh, in the meantime, he has attacked the <coughs> might remote with his remote, and yeah, he died. Too bad, but luckily I've got some scouts there, which take out a few remaining HP of his stream lot. Ooh, and I must retreat there. Ah, luckily I do. The ranged would have just killed them. And um, well, I'm in a pretty okay starting position because I managed to grab the top left uh, victory location and also the bottom right, at least I think I did. Yep, I'm grabbing it currently. And yeah. And here only has the middle one, which is actually what the one which you can fight the uh, for very easily b because you don't have such a high advantage with ranged units that you know there. So the defender advantage is lower, and especially since you can't uh, keep units there because there is an aqua and DPS aura which damage your units oh, viciously. And here he does a small mistake by trying to send his raw pass in, but the huge range given by that victory location makes it very easy for my scouts to dispose of that raw pass before they even arrive. Yeah, and they're dead. And in the meantime I'm cutting his units uh, on the his <coughs> at the 3 o'clock tactical and sending some more units out to outnumber them which yeah, uh, should make killing them pretty easy and that's exactly how my dream lord can help and that's what he does he's sending his dream lord to the top left and there I did some mismanagement by not taking care of the bottom left because the range don't auto attack uh, their full range which they get from the victory location you have to manually target whatever arrives well, and that's exactly what I need to do at the bottom right there now because he's also attacking there probably try to distract me the, there's a battle on the top right to get the top left and seeing that that failed attacking the bottom right but seems like that also fails but I guess he can get a couple shots up with his Clovers. And well, sending more units in, but that game is pretty much over. I've stacked the 120 points in the tactical location and got both the 
to easy to defend the tactical locations. And yeah, now just grabbing the middle to seal the deal. <laughs> and spawning YK Ezekiel. I probably shouldn't spawn him all the time. He's yeah, but okay, he's pretty strong. But I think I overdo it. <laughs> Funny hero too. Yeah, and once again he is trying to split up my attention, and he is sending the raw pass in is pretty clever. He should probably be able to prevent me from decapping it. Yep, he managed it, and. He keeps the attention and sends them away. Perfect management in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, uh, turns out that spawning Wyker was actually a good idea, seeing how many units arrive at the middle. Ooh, and he got his raw pause behind uh, uh, my wicked location close to my tactical, which yeah, it's pretty bad for me because he can intercept my spawns, which mostly consists of scouts ambitiously and scouts get taken out in a few seconds and that's exactly what happened at the down on right I'm trying to get in a good position to use this uh, AOE damage uh, but I can't seem to be able to but yeah just a few more seconds and yeah he comes with his robots and they're dead yay <laughs> awesome ultimate should have used this minus armor Minus armor skill there, then the uh, it works anyway. And looking at the victory location shows that he can't really do any anything anymore. The game is over. First win for me, and a few more battles to come since this is the best of seven. And yay, victory!